give me a double under. Oh! Can you see a running crossover? Yeah. What's your, what's your running crossover? Oh! What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rishi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Today, guys, we have a Jump Rope review, right? It's a rope that's not mine. It's been blown up around the internet, around the world. Been getting tagged in a lot of videos about it. I think it's gonna be a really interesting one. Check this out. All right, pick myself up. It's called Jump Rope, but it's actually a wireless or cordless skipping rope, people. Pick this up from Amazon. 15 pounds, all right? Now, you may may not have seen one of these before. I've been seeing a lot of them around right now, getting tagged. Uh, yeah, a lot of brands using my hashtag. And this one is from, uh, yeah, this brand. It's just called Jump Rope. And um, 15 pounds, we're gonna review it right now, guys. I'm gonna talk you through the pros and cons. If anyone is interested in buying one of these, I'm hopefully gonna give you some good pointers. And um, otherwise, probably show you guys that this could be the worst invention ever created in the skipping game. However, there are some good points, all right? And um, this channel, as you know, we have our own skipping ropes, we have our own line of ropes, we have our own styles of ropes, and it is the home of jump rope fitness and lifestyle. We show you skills, we show you how to look slick with your ropes, but now and then, you know, we keep it real and uh, look, not trying to sabotage anyone's brand here, just gonna make sure you guys get the best information out there when it comes to skipping. So looking on Amazon, all right? I was really interested about this product. A lot of videos have been popping up, TikTok, Instagram, there's guys who are shredded, sweating, bucket loads using this thing. There's people claiming they're losing tons of weight. There's people claiming that they lose more weight than even like swimming, running, using just this, okay? Remember, no wire, no rope to jump over. Right, you get basically get a handle, yeah? This is how it looks on my hand, so you've got an angle of it. You've got this kind of thing that's imitating PVC rope, and then you've got this ball at the end, which has a little bit of weight on it. So if I was to do this, pretty dangerous, but that's basically the product. So going through the pros of it on Amazon, right? This is what they claim. So they claim that you can do this anywhere. Now, I would have to agree, this is the same really with skipping, okay? We always say you can do skipping anywhere. But with this, it is pretty much, I think, the only biggest pro that I can think of off the top of my head anyway, is that you can literally just use this thing, jump around, and you don't have to care about the ceiling height, or you don't have to care really much about space or hitting people. Um, you could do this from the comfort of your own home. But what you're essentially doing, you're basically jumping up and down on the spot and you're imitating a skipping movement. And um, that brings in together like sort of with technique and all that, but we'll come to that really on the kind of con side of things. That's one pro. The second pro is I guess you're maybe senior and you haven't had or don't have the capacity to really use a skipping rope or jump around a lot or get to the gym. Potentially this will be good for you as well because you could just be at your house or indoors, just get up off the sofa or wherever you are and put these in your hands and just start to kind of feel like you're skipping and start I hit myself there and jump around on the spot. So that's pro number two. The third pro and probably the only pro as well that kind of comes to the top of my head is I guess for beginners who get into skipping, skipping is hard, right? And that's why I love skipping so much. It's kind of like an art form. It's not for everyone because it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of practice, and you have to use a lot of kind of mental energy, which we'll come to with this as well later on. But it's difficult. So I feel like people who get into skipping and they find it difficult and they're always tripping up and they're not actually getting a lot for their workouts because they're just tripping and they're just getting de kind of demoralized and kind of feeling down about themselves. This might be good for you as well because you can just kind of do this kind of motion, jump on the spot, feel, feel, I use that very loosely, right? Feel like you're skipping and potentially it kind of motivates you to just continue your workout or just jump on the spot and get your heart rate up. So that's kind of like the three pros that I can think of. And like I said, I'm not gonna be biased um, I really do feel like they are a pretty crappy invention to be honest with you because coming onto the con side of things it pretty much wipes out most of those pros. It's quality it's proper shit bro. Look at this man. What is this? I didn't realise this thing comes with. Proper cheap. Alright, so going into the cons. So this is going to counteract the con or the pro even where they talk about, you could do this obviously inside and with low ceilings. Um, but for me, it's nice to get outside. It's nice to get outside, especially when you're doing skipping or doing any kind of cardio, right? Even running. I'm not even big up running right now on this channel. But like, um, 
you know, if you're just doing this indoors all day and you're getting used to it, I think it's not promoting you just getting out, getting some fresh air, and that's always good for cardio, right? So that's the first kind of con. The second con, this is probably a big one as well, right? To be fair, one of the biggest ones is that this cuts your creativity, okay? Like, I haven't even got into using this thing just yet, but um, like, you can't be creative with it. And the great thing about skipping, of course, is that it engages your mind and keeps you kind of mentally active, all right? Because you're always trying to figure out, you know, how this needs to move, how this footwork needs to happen, how this leg needs to move, um, this arm, blah, blah, blah. So like, I feel like it kind of just cuts the creativity you're not really engaging anything and that's what's just gonna lead to boredom all right and you can do better than that you can basically end up let me show you something you can end up just using a couple of bottles of air freshener or bottles of water and you can jump on the spot and you've got the same kind of feeling as skipping okay so i get what they're trying to do i get that they're trying to make people feel like they this i mean i can't even use this thing man. i ain't got enough space but they feel like you're skipping but you're really not skipping and that's like for me a con because you can just use hand weights and just uh just jump on the spot effectively that's all you're doing with this thing right because you're not trying to yeah concentrate on skipping over a, an actual rope all right the third con the biggest one of them all right i haven't even got into it is technique guys let's go outside and talk about technique because that's just going to kill this whole product or invention altogether let's go do it now all right peeps let's talk about technique all right now this is this is my major grudge with this thing right because a lot of the brands who promote this and they pump a lot of money into advertising they basically say that it's it's skipping right just obviously not with a rope um, now, technique wise, I've seen loads of people using this in the videos, okay, and they always usually have the same technique. And it's usually arms out wide, just doing this, okay. Now, this is not imitating proper skipping, okay. All you're doing again is you're putting pressure on your wrists, right. You've got this ball kind of moving around the axis of, of this handle, right, which does not mimic a rope properly, in my opinion, right. You've just got this weight flinging around to so one, you're going to basically put a lot of pressure on your wrists. Technique wise, when you're actually skipping, okay, your, your hands and your arms shouldn't be out like this. And the only way you can get this to maneuver properly, this contraption, is if you keep your wrist locked like this. That's how you can get it to go straight. With the techniques that I show on this channel, you know that I always talk about kind of keeping your elbows back, um, nice and relaxed, obviously your posture and your wrist kind of work in a forward moving like motion. And if you do it like that, if I'm doing it with my kind of techniques, you can see the balls start to hit each other. So technique wise, this is not gonna help you get better at skipping it's not really going to help you really feel like you're skipping thirdly okay is really truly to do with the rhythm or the coordination again on the videos you see people doing this kind of jumping motion like this and yeah they're kind of in time with the balls going around but again you could just use anything in your hands and just jump on the spot whereas with a proper skipping rope right it's going to teach you rhythm and timing because obviously you have to jump over a rope you have to use your mind to physically jump at the right time um, you need to move your feet in a certain way so this is not really helping your rhythm and coordination because I could just put this on the floor and literally just do that and I know I'm kind of doing the right thing that kind of makes sense okay also on top of that point about technique is actually they're claiming that you're going to burn tons of calories with this thing right now if I want to try and go intense with this right it just looks silly it just looks stupid like it doesn't feel right the rhythm is off again the balls are moving not in the right time Whereas again, with an actual skipping rope, you can go intense. You could do tons of double unders in a row. You can do run skips. You could do crossovers at speed. You can get your heart rate actually moving. Whereas with this thing, like I just feel like, again, I can do this without having all this stupidness, like just clattering into each other and just getting in my way. Or rather just not having it in my hands. So really and truly, I don't think I can get the heart rate up or get a mega sweat on, which again, some of these promotion videos, damn, they're, they're so, so crazy. You've got people who are like sweating buckets using this thing and they're basically trying to make out to people around the world that they're getting this sweat on or they're getting shredded up. They're losing tons of weights because of this, this contraption or whatever you want to call it. So intensity wise, again, if I'm going to try and do double unders with it, it's well off. It feels so bad, awkward. It's not right. And in my opinion, it doesn't really do what they're trying to claim. I get what they're trying to go with it, but really and truly you could just bin them and just kind of just do things your own way. All right, people, closing thoughts, all right? Overall, it's pretty shit, okay? And I paid 15 pound for this and I'm gutted. It's worse, it's actually worse than I thought and it really is a really bad invention. However, all right, I've got, I've got some good words to say about it quickly. If it gets you motivated, if it gets anyone to buy it, like if someone wants to buy it and they feel like they're gonna do something with it and they're gonna jump on the spot in their house and feel like they're skipping and it's gonna make them happy, who am I to complain? Who am I to cuss? Like, you know what? It's always about keeping fit, moving, being active, and um, yeah, if, you, if you're gonna lose weight with it, maybe, I don't know. But otherwise, 
It's shit. <laughs> it's not skipping rope. It's just a handles without a rope. It's like a PlayStation controller without a wire. You're not really playing the game. Do this, right? Get yourself one of these. Get yourself a proper skipping rope. Link in bio, all right? Otherwise, people, I'm gonna wrap up the video. Hopefully that was useful. You gain some knowledge and uh, you now realize all the people who are jumping on the bandwagon of this thing, right? Keep it slick, keep it classy, man. Get yourself a proper skipper rope. I'll see you in the next video, as always. So take care of yourself. Let's get the treadmill. Stay safe. Peace. Should I do a double under crossover? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Fucking that shit. That's a hazard. What a shit thing, man. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now